So in the last six months, there's been this takeaway shop called Rebecca's been going viral on TikTok. It's a lovely Chinese takeaway shop ran by a woman who is presumably called Rebecca. So as every small business does now, they record their TikToks, plaster them all over, and they go viral. But it's never ever the good ones. Have you ever seen a restaurant go viral on TikTok for good reasons? No. Maybe that guy that makes his spuds, you know, spud man or whatever, everybody loves him. But the reason why Rebecca's Chinese takeaway shop goes so viral is because apparently the food is allegedly awful. I don't know why I said allegedly, like it's a crime. I mean, it might be a crime, who knows? We haven't seen the food yet. People say the chicken is whiter than Michael Jackson and that the gravy sauce looks so much like oil, the US want to invade it. This restaurant has got so TikTok famous that people are actually going to visit it for content. Hello guys, how are you doing? We are going to a place in Kirk Caldy in Scotland. Kirk Caldy. It's pronounced Kirkcaldy. How do I know this? Because it's 15 minutes from where I'm from. That's why when I seen this, I was like, I have to make a video on this. This Rebecca's Chinese takeaway shop is literally kind of local to me. In fact, I believe that Rebecca's, I don't know if this is true, this is just what I've seen on the internet, apparently they also own a Chinese shop in my hometown, which I used to go to as a kid all the time and I loved it. Or at least I think I did. Either that or I've forgotten all about it. You know, they do say your brain blocks out traumatic memories, so... Maybe the food wasn't good. If this video gets four likes, I'll go to Rebecca's in person. So let's have a look at Rebecca's Chinese and see if it's as bad or as good as people say it is. So this is apparently the, the item of food that started making these TikToks go viral. Let me tell you quickly what's in our special fried rice here at Rebecca's. The rice looks all right, doesn't look bad. I think. It's egg fried rice, but it's also mixed in with chicken. That's chicken. I thought that was mozzarella. Tell me that does not look like sliced mozzarella. Char siu, ham, and of course peas. But for this specific customer, they asked for- I don't know what that fucking pink and gray thing is. It looks like moldy chicken. This is not me slating her. This is me more slating myself at me being uncultured with food. I don't know what that is. This specific customer, they asked for it without. We also add on top three big- Why is it so dark? Was that crude oil? I can see why people say it's crude oil. Three bigger slices of char siu, and then we smother it all in our gravy. Gravy! That was gravy. I, originally, when I first seen this TikTok, I thought it was black bean sauce. I don't know, just that's the only thing I could imagine it would be. No. Gravy. That is gravy. Gravy, was that not molasses? And then we add the tar. Does the tar come with feathers? Is it edible? Well, want me to find out, like I said, we will go try Rebecca's. So after this blew up, so did all of their recipes in their TikToks. So I couldn't help but have a look at what they, you know, what they sell. So I had a look at their menu, and as you can see, vegetarian menu, create your own milkshake. And you won't guess what the next one is. Elf bars. I can't believe they're selling elf bar, but a Chinese restaurant, that's an awful joke. Never say that again, Louis, go die. They are selling elf bars at a Chinese restaurant. No wonder the Americans bully us for what Chinese food we have. Elf bars at a Chinese restaurant. Let's pack this customer's order. So order on our Facebook, is that what every caption is? Who orders food on fucking Facebook? Facebook, like Facebook Marketplace. I don't know, I'm, I'm out of touch. There's all these fucking Just Eat Deliveroo's, whatever. I seen one called Mealzo the other week. Mealzo. It sounds like the name for a cat. Oh, and the opening frame is Atasi. She knows what she's doing. She knows Atar brings in the views. Let's pack this customer's order. So far, we decided to start with the one portion of our super, super, super popular. Super, 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 super. Her voice is really high pitched, to be fair. But then again, so is mine, and I'm a guy. First of us are normal soft noodles. So noodles mixed with onions and bean sprouts. But then it's also mixed in with chicken, ham, and char siu. I don't know what char siu is. Maybe that's on me. Maybe that is on me. Charles, I've definitely spelt that wrong. Yeah, hers is definitely a lot more grey. Hers definitely does look like more school eraser than that. And once again, the fresh mozzarella slices. That is painful. Then topped up with not one, not two, but three. It's not topped with one, not two, not three, but five <laughs> litres of crude oil. You bigger slices of chicken. And then our special chairman is then smothered in a yummy gravy sauce. A yummy gravy sauce. We'll be the judge of that when we try Rebecca's. Customer also wanted to add on one fried egg on top. So of course that's exactly what we did. And then moving on, this customer also ordered Customer is eating a lot, isn't he? Mushroom and mushroom smothered in our yummy gravy sauce again. That doesn't fucking look like gravy sauce. Which one is the gravy sauce? It's in our barbecue sauce, all in the one container. And then once we packed up all their hot food, we then went over to our drink station as this customer also ordered one large size. Customer, you're a fat bastard. I'll say it because no one else will. This customer ordered. This customer ordered. Stop ordering, mate. At POV, I'm the customer. Uh, uh, Rebecca's Chinese because I love it. 
Like I said, it's my local. The comments are always just so mean. Is this wax? Is that sauce tar? Is this edible? <laughs> Red 40 sauce. I keep on seeing people say that. I don't know what I don't know what that means. Should I know what that means? Right. <laughs> what is it an element that you use to dye stuff? It's something that's an M and M. Oh, I've heard about this, I think. It's like an American thing, isn't it? Americans put fucking everything in food though, don't they? Americans would put fucking aluminium in fans if they could. Let's play this customer's order. How much is it to order crude oil? So everyone in the comments has just been making fun of the way that she says order. Order. To me, it sounds the way you should say it, but it seems like the rest of TikTok disagrees. But I'm from this area, but I don't I don't notice anything weird with it. Well, let me play it again. Order. 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 That's like how I'd expect like a girl from this area to say order. Do I say it like that? Hello, would you like to order some food? Order. 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 <laughs> I, this word is losing meaning to me now. Love this. Order. I don't know. It just seems normal to me. Maybe, maybe we're an outcast. Let's buy this customer's four item order. Order. I guess we do say a bit weird. I guess. I don't really know. Let's buy this customer's four item order. First, we start off with their lemon chicken and our lemon- Oh. Oh, that looked like jizz. That was horrible. Oh. What is that? Is that lemon juice? If so, why is it so much and why is it sticky? Lemon chicken and our lemon sauce. Next, we've got their chicken crispy noodles. Which you get the chicken, vegetables and sauce in the one container, separately from the bed of crispy noodles that are fried. Which you get it in this box. That's so when you're ready to eat- That just looked like an uncooked nest of noodles. I'm guessing she said it's crispy noodles. I don't know. By the way, see if it ever seems like I'm pulling a face at food. It's because I'm fussy as well. So this isn't even like a critique to Rebecca. I just hate anything that isn't pizza, really. Are we required to cook the noodles ourselves? Yep, we just send you the ingredients and you cook it yourself. From the bed of crispy noodles that are fried. Once you get it in this box, that's so when you're ready to eat, you can just pour it on top. So it keeps its yummy, saucy, crispy texture. Yummy, saucy, poofy texture. That's how I, that's how I describe myself to other people. Yummy, saucy, poofy texture. That is my grinder bio. This customer also ordered a portion of mini vegetable spring rolls. Which you get one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight mini vegetable spring rolls in a portion. And then to finish off, we quickly grab the tub of curry sauce, their bag of chips, and of course add in three crackers. To be fair, the stuff doesn't look awful because we have to remember, she's just posting her food. If every single restaurant in the UK posted TikToks of their meals, I'm afraid they would all be shut down for health and safety concerns. Do you perchance make edible food? I'm still trying to figure out this accent. I see so much like accent slander and upsets me because like I said this apparently like I said this owner used to also own one in my hometown so that means that we have the same accent and there's so much accent slander that I am going to cry. Let's pack this customer's order. First up we've got their giant Becca balls. <laughs> she said giant Becca ball. <laughs> Giant Becca balls. I'm not too sure if that's a Chinese cuisine. Imagine being a Chinese person coming over to the UK being like, yeah, I really want to have, you know, my local cuisine, I miss it. And then you walk in and on the menu is the giant Becca ball. I'm coming in like a Becca ball. Classic Chinese dish, the Becca ball. British Chinese food should be a crime. I'll fucking defend British Chinese food to the day I die. Don't get me wrong, there is some questionable things, but... It is really good. Am I aware that they probably don't serve it in China? Yes. Is it still amazing? Yes. Salt and pepper chips, salt and pepper chickens, prawn crackers, curry sauce, fried rice, noodles, chow mein. It's all amazing. British people, what is a chicken? Is that not a thing? Do people not have chicken balls in other countries? No? Now, if you're not familiar and are like, what is that? Well, it's like that giant chicken ball that was trending here a while back. Customers picked two fillings for a Becca ball list, which this customer chose to have in both a shredded chicken and fried rice inside. That sounds amazing. I need to have a Becca ball before the day I die. I want a Becca ball with a side of an elf bar. That's my Chinese takeaway. Let's buy this customer's order. Is that tofu? First up, we start with their one portion of chicken curry. Chicken! Chicken! Why is it so white? I've seen people, you know, fucking TikTok detectives slash chefs, whatever in the comments, they're saying that apparently she boils the chicken. Are these wax melts? I want the Becca ball as a wax melt. Hi, Rebecca, great order. Honestly, when someone makes fun of the way she says order, I feel offended too. Order, order. Do you also make food? The comments are actually so nasty. A wee while ago, I seen someone went and commented on one of our videos asking if they could just come into our shop and order a slush. So she, she didn't speak that high pitched in her older videos. That's two years ago. Hi guys, if you want to come order a slushy and now. 
Bro turned into a minion in two years. Or maybe Rebecca died and this is another Rebecca that's taken over. A lot of our customers actually do this. And even though we are known as like a Chinese takeaway, people do just come in and buy slushies and milkshakes. Yeah, her, her voice is so different. I can see why people said she put it on. Why is the voice suddenly went high pitched and rapid? Why is she suddenly turned into a fucking chipmunk? Let's compare the voices just for a second. God, we will go. I've seen someone went, this is how we make our prawn crackers here at my- How does one achieve this accent? Once again, I'm a little bit offended. But it does seem like she's putting on a tad. Show us how you find the crude oil, that's so mean. And this customer actually travelled all the way from Edinburgh as they were visiting family, so we were like, oh my god. Anyway, so back to it. So once it's all frozen, we just like scrape, 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 wait for it to freeze, all that kind of thing. And as they had a wee bit to travel, we made a slushy extra icy, just so by the time we get back home, it won't all be just back to liquid. To be fair, looks good. Maybe we'll get a slushy, who knows? So some of the food, honestly, We've looked at many people on this channel. We've looked at Kay's cooking, we've looked at Candy's cooking, we've looked at Auntie Jackie, even though that one was rage bait. We've looked at many of them, and most of them, it's a 90% bad ratio, maybe higher. Whereas this, honestly, it's 50-50. Half the time it looks all right, half the time it looks a bit questionable. More or less the time, it looks all right. I need to know the history of your accent, begging. I find this so fat. This is definitely Americans or, I don't know, Scotland. It's absolutely just not Scottish accent. There's something else in there. Probably Chinese because she's Scottish Chinese. No, I will tell you, as someone from this area, it's a Scottish accent. It's a Scottish accent. It's a Scottish accent. It's just not from Glasgow, it's just not from Edinburgh. There's more than one Scottish accent. Thank you, Holland. Thank you. It's a 5X TikTok accent. I don't know why I'm laughing, because every single person I ever meet in real life, they go, you don't sound like your videos. And I'm like, I, I don't do this on purpose, it just happens. Any YouTuber knows what I fine well mean by a YouTuber accent. It just... I don't know, it just happens. It's like when you do a presentation at school or like when you're picking up the phone from your distant auntie who's wishing you happy birthday, you know? It's weird, I can't explain it. So, first things first. First things first, I'm really sorry. It's about this customer's order and then another customer's order straight after. So, for our first customer, they ordered one 12 inch Becca's Munchie Box, which has everything salt and pepper, unless of course you ask Jesus, that's a heart attack on a plate. So inside it has salt and pepper chips, chicken, chicken balls, chicken satay scares dry, Jesus. which contains nuts by the way, so please, please, please do not order that if you are allergic. We then also have Salt and pepper spare ribs, chicken wings, mini vegetable spring rolls, onions and mixed peppers. I hope that's for like a family of eight over the space of a week. Does the cheese ever melt? I really want to know what the curry sauce tastes like. We'll find out one day. It's my legacy to go to Rebecca's Chinese. I've wanted to do it ever since this morning. No, we did not deliver to England. <laughs> now I'm saying this because I've been getting lots and lots and lots of genuine questions on whether we delivered to different places in England recently. Do you deliver to Uzbekistan? Anonymous customer order. What, what does that mean? Does that mean they just get given a random piece of food or is someone from the notorious hacking group ordered a, 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 an order? An order? To our anonymous customer. Thank you, Ad Oh my God, it does look like oil look do you know when oil obviously looks like that on top of water you know what i mean with a little glistening why is it like that on the gravy sauce why does the gravy sauce have a rainbow spectrum glistening on the top of it please can i just turn up that's what i want to know will we reject you if you just walk in and order at our wee pink chinese takeaway the answer is of course not we welcome walk-ins and actually we love customers who just walk in and order because it's like a surprise we just never know what's going to come through next wow i guess where we were that <laughs> was in english i guess we know where we're off to listen rebecca's chinese counting your days because that looks stinking like see every time it comes on my for you page i go on your page and i'm all for the girlies like our wee business like do you know what i mean rock on chick but what the fuck it looks absolutely hoaching. Hey, don't you ever diss the Becca ball like that ever again. It genuinely looks disgusting. And I mean, I'm a big bitch. I love a Chinese, right? But it genuinely looks like the worst Chinese in the world. The chips are actually anemic. The chicken is actually... <laughs> I've never seen someone look so in despair about a Chinese takeaway. This is what I tell you, Americans. This is how passionate we are about our Chinese takeaways. Look at, look at her. She's in despair. I think we need to go find out for ourselves. Hey, yeah. hey I placed an order for a collection. It should be Stuart, Stuart Little. Uh, you make it just now, okay, no worries, just me. Chinese takeaway and sitting. Where the fuck do you sit? Yeah, is that for Stuart? Yeah. 
Okay, how does it work? What do I do? You just put it in and then try to grab some loose in the Okay, I'll try. I'll see if I can win some in. Okay. Oh, I got something. What have I won? No one. Let's go. I won prawn crackers. I won prawn crackers. Wow, cheers, thank you. I worked so hard on that. Cheers. Have a nice night. Cheers, buddy. Thank you. Okay, before we get into it, I want to read you some reviews first. One star. Absolutely delicious. The crude oil sauce is amazing with the undercooked chicken dippers. Wow. The chicken curry looked illegal. The rice and curry looked vile. The chicken balls weren't even balls. One star, and they also spent over a hundred pounds. Christ. That must have been a lot of mega becca balls. I found 40 strands of blonde dyed hair. Dyed hair? Why not just blonde hair? Why blonde dyed hair? Blonde dyed hair on my fried rice. Enough to make a one strand of braid. I got food poisoned and deported to Taiwan again. Right. Well, let's go see how truthful these reviews are and try it for ourselves. Okay. Wow. We're here. We've got our food. So we've got our food, my free prawn crackers, even though I've already got a bag. Okay, first of all, we've got a, a bounty milkshake. Looks quite good. Tastes quite good. Milkshakes are hard to go wrong, in fairness. And I am that guy that eats the leftover bounties in a celebrations box at Christmas. So, quite an easy win-win for me. And then we've got... I don't know what this is going to be. It doesn't smell nice. Oh my God, if it isn't... It is. Ladies and gentlemen, it's the giant Becca ball. <laughs> I've also realised, like just there, that I didn't bring any cutlery with me. So I'm going to have to eat them with my bare hands like I'm an animal. Quite fitting for someone who's in Kirkcaldy. Oh my, this. She wasn't lying, they are giant. So I'm going to have to just hold it and try. Mmm, wow. That is a lot. I believe it's filled with curry sauce, salt and pepper, fried rice and chips. I think the giant becca ball is amazing. If I was Chinese and I had the giant becca ball, I would accept it as my cuisine. Enter that into the Chinese Hall of Fame. Wow. Okay, now this is the one that everyone's been waiting for because it is the infamous. Quite disappointing in person. That is supposed to be, you know, the, the crude oil. That's supposed to be the crude oil, but it's not that bad. The worst part is I forgot cutlery. This is going to be so grim. Okay. It doesn't taste like gravy. It feels weird because I feel like I'm eating a very famous sauce, which I am, the crude oil. It's all right. It just doesn't taste like gravy, which I'm really confused, but it doesn't quite look like the amount of gravy sauce that you see on the TikToks, so I'm a little bit disappointed. Now, this is just chips and curry sauce. Quite a hard dish to go wrong, if you can even call it a dish. And we've seen that lady say the chips look anemic. The chips are actually anemic. Let's, uh, let's find out. The chips are okay, and I did see someone say that they, they just want to know what that curry sauce tastes like. Well, here it is, baby. Curry sauce is very good. Curry sauce is very good. That's a Chinese curry sauce that I like. That's good. I was actually planning to go on a run after filming this video. Now, it doesn't look like I will be running. I might just get the runs. Never thought I'd say this, but I'm going back to the Becca ball. I wish I could tell you how heavy this thing is. It's heavy. It's got some serious weight behind it. Reminds me of myself in lockdown. There was complaints about the color of the chicken. So I'm going to try to show you. That is the chicken. Once again, not as white as it was on video. Now, What's the consensus? Did I like Rebecca's Chinese? No. I loved it. 